Hey, what is up guys? My name is Grief Drums and today we are going to be taking a look at map tips and tricks on the map Favela on Rainbow Six Seed. Now, it's taken me a while to get this video together and I will apologize for that. The main reason being I fucking hate this map. I hate it with a passion. The rest of the maps bring a lot of verticality and you can sort of be creative. With this map, it's only really the exterior walls that are breachable. There's barely any interior walls that you can push through and because of that it just really frustrates me so first off as per usual we are going to start with drone spots pretty much every drone spot we're going to look at today is going to be on either a fan or um, this light here that's probably the only one that's not on a fan this light is a really good little hiding space if you're keeping an eye out for roamers moving around on the yellow side of the building at the beginning of a map very often you'll find your drone out here most people will jump it straight down onto ground level, but instead by jumping it up onto here, you can keep an eye out on where they're setting up because you'll see the reinforcements coming through the wall. From there, this also allows you to keep an eye out for spawn peekers and keeps your drone alive for later in the map. Downstairs in the armory, you can jump up on top of these boxes, up onto the shelf, and then up into the TV. This is a really cheeky little hiding spot. Not many people are going to spot you up here. By jumping up on top of the boxes in this room again, you can jump up on top of this fan. As I said earlier, they're all going to be fans. In the biker's apartment, you can jump up onto the TV and then up onto the ceiling fan. This gives a pretty good view of the room, although it's not ideal. You obviously, if you're not controlling the drone, you're going to be fairly limited as to what you can see. This fan over here instead, you've got to take the picture out of the way first. You can get up on top of here. You're a lot more hidden, but you can't actually tag through the fan. In the kitchen area, you can jump up on top of the fridge and then up into the cupboards. This gives a good view of this side of the room, as there's very often people hiding down here when you're protecting the armory. Or alternatively, the best view of the room is by getting onto this fan in the kitchen. This gives a view of the entire room. More fans down here. And in the room on the opposite side, you can jump up on top of the ceiling fan. And by jumping up again, you actually can glitch through the ceiling and see slightly through into the room above, which is the football room. This can be handy if Caveira is moving around upstairs. When pushing up on the aunt's apartment, by jumping your drone into this little bush here, you get a really good view of anyone coming down from the biker's apartment. The other option for the aunt's apartment is to jump up on top of the cupboard, up on top of the chandelier, and then over onto the fan. You can stay up on the chandelier if you want to. The fan hides you a little bit more, or alternatively, you can jump up on top of this ceiling fan. The opposite side of the room is exactly the same. You can jump up on top of a microwave, on top of the barricade, and move over onto this wall-mounted fan. This gives a fairly good view of the room. To keep an eye on the stairs going up to the roof, jump into this bush. You can hide your drone in here, or alternatively, go up the stairs slightly and jump up onto the light. Now, this light is white, so you do stand out a fair bit. The better option is to actually move around to the back of the light and over onto the shelf with the candles. You're a little bit more hidden over here. In the football apartment itself, this is a really good spot. By jumping up onto the flag and then up onto this fan, you can actually turn around and you get an insane view of the room. Because you can't tag, we can go one better than this. By jumping down and actually going up onto the TV instead, you've got to be careful not to take out the table because sometimes it breaks. If you can get up on top of here and then up onto the speaker, you get an incredible view of the room. You are right up in the corner. To keep an eye on the middle floor yellow stairs, jump up on top of this by turning your drone to an angle. You can actually clip onto the, uh, the pipe, then go on top of the barricade and up on top of the aircon unit. This gives a brilliant view. In the grow room with all the cannabis, by jumping up on top of the table, you can't actually reach the fan unless you jump up on top of the money first. This lifts you just high enough to be able to reach the wall fan. From there, you can jump up on top of the tarpaulins on the roof. This hides your drone really well, but obviously you can't see anything. By moving up onto the pipes here, you can actually turn around and see pretty much everything in the room. At the top of the yellow stairs, you can get up on top of this roof fan, but you can't see anything from it, so it's pointless. Instead, move into the packaging room itself, go up onto the shelf, and then up onto the speaker. This gives you a really good view. The other side of the room, you can actually get onto the ceiling fan. By jumping up on top of the plant and then up onto the plywood that's leaning up against the wall, you can jump up onto the roof fan. Here's a little easter egg for you now. The football pitch outside, if you shoot the footballs into the goal or move them with your drone, you can hear this dude shouting goal every single time. It's awesome. Oh yeah, goal! Oh shit, sorry. When defending the arts apartment, Thermite likes to blow this wall open here because people hide behind it. By moving up to the wall above, certainly if you're playing as Pulse, this can be a godsend because you can just wall bang people through here. I'm going to open it up just so you can see what's going on, but this leads directly out onto this section of roof and you can just pick people off. 
The other way to protect the ants apartment is by jumping up on top of this fridge area. Using the fridge as cover, you get that split second advantage over people pushing into the room. Not only does this protect you from the doorway, but also from the stairs. Because it's only really the exterior walls on this map that are breachable, spawn peeking is huge, whether it's spawn peeking or just picking people off outside. From the little cupboard in the armory, you get a view down this alleyway. Attackers will not be expecting to see you here, especially when they come running down at the beginning of the round. While it's not a spawn peeking point per se, to protect the ants apartment, you can view out of this window, this window, pretty much the entire yellow side of the building, you can keep an eye out onto the rooftops. This can be awesome, even if you're not using it, to just punch a load of holes and open a load of windows. The attackers will be guessing for ages. They will have to keep an eye on it. They'll have to use smoke grenades. It's definitely, definitely worth doing. As an attacker, if people are using these spots, putting a few rounds into these spots here are usually a good bet. If you do plan on using them so you don't get shot by those particular spots by the attackers, jumping up onto this table and looking out, you get a really good view and you've got a bit of cover in front of you. As an attacker working the other way, use the wall here as cover. You can then open up the window and shoot into the arts department if that's where you're attacking. In the football room, these are some more spawn peaking places. By opening the wall up here in this Brazilian flag, you can see all the way down to where the camera is and the alleyway that the attackers come from. The attackers will not expect to see you here, especially at the beginning of the round. This works exactly the same on the other side because the attackers also spawn on the far left corner as I'm looking out here. When they come running around this wall, pop them in the head. The last spawn peeking spot I've got for you is over here, keeping an eye on the van or this little alley next to the fence. I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of spawn peeking and I don't use it, but on this map, it is a godsend. As you come up to the top of this ladder, be very, very careful because from the pink building at the very top, you can actually get a line of sight on it. As the attackers are coming up, they're going through the animation and they're getting headshot without even realizing where it's coming from or being able to do anything about it. When it comes to the packaging room upstairs, this one can be an absolute nightmare to defend and is always avoided at ranked. And for good reason, there's so many ways that they can push in from and there's nowhere really for the defenders to hide. By going into the room below and blowing open this hatch, you get a really good line of sight all the way down towards the double door where the attackers are going to push from or the single door. This is a perfect head height level to just pop their heads off. This next spot is a really cheeky one and one I love to use. Just outside of the football room by punching a hole in the bottom corner here, you get a bit of a view onto the stairs. As people are coming up, their gun covers that hole and they're not going to see you there. Even if they're leaning and doing an ADS, they still can't see you because it's made even worse. Downstairs, if you're protecting the armory or the biker's apartment, by popping a hole just in this wall at the bottom corner and then putting a shield out, you are so well hidden and you can see pretty much anyone pushing up to that doorway out there. This gives you the opportunity to peek people and they just can't do much about it as you've got the shield there as cover. Again, in the biker's apartment, by putting a shield out here in the kitchen, you can actually vault over it and up next to the fridge. Now what you might not know is that this wall next to you is actually breachable. So by popping a few holes in this, you get a good view down towards the stairs near the aunt's apartment. People are not going to expect to see you here as they come up and you just take their head off. Another good trick in the football room is if there is only one guy left, this probably isn't great if, uh, if they're down there because they're just going to take you out. However, if they're in this room and you know they're going to be pushing through to you, by jumping up here, you get that extra split second where they are going to be aiming at the wrong height to take you out. You can pop them in the head. As they come around, they're just going to be shooting at your feet up on the counter. On the very top floor, by coming over to this far side, if you're attacking the packaging room, you can actually rappel out onto this wall. From here, the wall is in the way, which is good protection, but you can lean out and shoot at the window. If you're playing as Ash or if the walls have been opened, you can then use this to lean all the way around and shoot anyone in that room. The good thing about this is that you're not exposed to anyone jumping out of this side because they're not going to expect to see you here. In the armory downstairs, by putting a hole just here, you get a view down onto the stairs from the yellow side. As people are moving down those stairs, they're not going to expect to see you there. And like with the other murder hole that I put in earlier, their gun is probably going to cover the hole. Although verticality isn't very big on this map, you can utilize these roof hatches to your advantage. By opening the one in the football room, you get a view down into the armory. And by opening the one next to the football room, you get a view down towards the, um, the biker's apartment's bedroom. If the enemy decide to run out through a wall that you're shooting at them from and go back towards a football pitch, don't neglect the fact that you can jump out onto this balcony here and shoot them. 
The final tip I've got for you guys today can be used no matter where you're defending, unless, of course, it's the arts apartment, in which case this wall will probably be sealed. By opening a hole here and then opening this doorway, you get a view onto the yellow stairs for anyone moving around. This can work for attack and defense. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to beat the hell out of that thumbs up button. If you don't already, make sure to subscribe as there's plenty more Rainbow Six coming up as well as several other games. As always, if you've got any questions, make sure to hit me up in the comments below. And until next time, guys, stay reckless and relentless. If you want a proper tip for this map, do this. Go to the matchmaking settings and turn it off.